Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the escape velocity, the velocity necessary to escape from the gravitational attraction of a planet, or from the sun, or from a moon, or an asteroid, whatever it may be. To get away, you have to have a certain amount of speed. You can't keep the engines going forever because you only have so much fuel, so you, you burn the fuel in a short amount of time to get enough speed so that once you've exceeded the escape velocity, you can then turn off the engines and the speed will be sufficient to pull you free from the gravity of the object you're trying to leave. So let's say you're trying to leave from the Earth and you want to know what the escape velocity should be. Well, if we use the energy conservation equation, any work put into the system plus the initial potential energy plus the initial kinetic energy should equal the final potential energy plus the final kinetic energy plus any energy you may have lost. Of course, in space there's no friction, so we don't lose any energy. And sure, we're doing work with the engines, but let's assume that we do the work with the engines and that results in having a certain amount of kinetic energy. So we call this zero and we give all that work into the form of kinetic energy, one half mv squared. Of course, on the surface of the Earth, the potential energy is minus g m times m divided by the radius of the Earth. On the right side, when we finally reach very far distance away from the Earth where there's no longer the pull of gravity, potential energy will be zero. At that moment, you'll stop moving forward. You just have enough speed to get out to infinity, but not anything beyond it, so your speed is zero. And then the energy loss, of course, in space, zero. There's no friction. Solve that equation for V, you get V equals the square root of two times G times the mass of the Earth divided by the radius of the Earth. Now notice you take the square root of that, and if you do that, you realize, wait a minute, that looks familiar, because it's the same as saying the square root of 2 times the square root of the g m over r, and that, of course, is the orbital velocity. So in other words, the escape velocity is the square root of 2 times the orbital velocity. As an example, let's say, what is the escape velocity necessary to get away from the Earth? You use your equation, you plug in g, you plug in the mass of the Earth, you plug in the radius of the Earth, assuming you start from the surface of the Earth, and that means you need a speed of a little bit over 11,000 meters per second, which is a little bit over 11 kilometers per second, or almost seven miles per second. That equates to about 25,000 miles per hour. So to send a rocket to the moon, you must go at least 25,000 miles per hour, which is about 40,000 kilometers per hour in order to get there. Otherwise, the, for the gravity, gravitational force of the Earth will just pull you right back and you won't make it to the moon. And that is how it's done.